Karlov of the Ghost Council versus Atraxa, Praetor's Voice. Yeah, that's unfortunate that there's no lands in there, really, so... Ugh. Even, yeah, we'd really desperately need a white land there, and if we got into a black land, I don't really think we'd be able to do anything. Just going to have to throw it back again. Alright, 38 lands in this deck, and we are not doing very well. We're just going to have to risk that one. Throw Anguished Unmaking onto the bottom, and I don't see this game panning out very well for us, starting with four cards. And we have kind of a curve. If we get into another land, we've got a turn two into a turn three. This assumes that we get into more lands, though. Atraxa Praetor's Voice is every colour except red. A 4-4 Flying Vigilance, Death Touch and Life Link. At your end step, you proliferate. We'll just go in for Godless Shrine. Karlov of the Ghost Council is an Orzov Commander, 2-2. Two, two. And whenever you gain life, you put two plus one plus one counters on him. And then Orzov, remove six counters, exiles a target creature. And this equipment, Civic Saber, plus one to the equipped creature's power for each of its colours. Oh wow, I've never seen that in a track, so that's actually a really good equipment. That would be plus four, plus zero, making it an 8-4 flyer. We'd, yeah, that's really good. Okay, we still want another land next turn, but we can at least get into Karlov. Yeah, I can't believe I've never seen this on a Traxxer before. Just one to put out and one to equip. And it turns a Traxxer into a three-turn clock once she can start swinging in. Alright, Vampiric Tutor... I think just grabs us an Ancient Tomb. Even then, we're a bit far behind, but... We can go into Ranger of Eos. Yeah, I think we just have to... Well, we'll swing in at our opponent anyway. We often want to win with Commander damage. Our opponent's actually quite far behind on lands, aren't they? This is a, a layer land. And that's Bant. Yeah, I don't really think much of the layer cards to be honest. Alright, swinging in, get two points of commander damage off on our opponent. And then we will not do that yet. Now we can yield until the end step, see what our opponent's got for us. Oh, another colourless land. Yeah, that's not what they want to be seeing. Thankfully our opponent have been quite slow. So our small hand, we're kind of cobbling something together here. Yeah, we'll just go in for Ancient Tomb. Play the Ancient Tomb and go in for our Pristine Talisman. And then that means next turn we can get down and play Whisper Silk Cloak. And then we can... Karlov can get incrementally bigger. Every time we gain life. We put two plus one plus one counters on him, and we're just on the commander damage plan here. Pristine Talisman is tap for a colourless mana, and you gain a life. And that obviously triggers Karlov. And another colourless land. Our opponent's really heavy on the colourless mana. Hopefully they've got an explosive vegetation or something like that here. Uh, Bastion Protector is good once they get their commander down, but without that, it's yeah, pretty much doing nothing. Our opponent's been pretty unlucky here. And now with Whisper Silk Cloak, our Karlov has Shroud and Unblockable, so unless they can wipe the board or force us to sacrifice it, they are a couple of turns away from losing this one. Unless we can gain more life in the meantime, we'd need to do... Nine damage to them, is it? Yeah, if we draw a planes next turn. Okay, Deep Glow Skate. Double the number of counters on any number of target permanents. Well, they couldn't target Karlov if they wanted to, and I highly doubt they want to anyway. Yeah, seems pretty unlucky by our opponent. They seem to be struggling. So a planes here would be nice, because I'm thinking if we go into Ranger of Eos... Okay, Utter End... I was thinking Ranger of Eos into Soul's Attendant 
and then yeah and then Sol Warden and we could have gotten a few life gain triggers going there but not to worry we get down our mother of runes and our soul's attendant and we'll just play soul's attendant here there's no point in showing them that we have soul warden and that's more life gain triggers for us we put our opponent on 20 commander damage so they really need a board wipe here and they're not really in the colours for board wipe currently unless they can drop a land and play a board wipe just going to block with the ranger of eos here because even if our opponent did get an attraxa down I wouldn't want it to be indestructible and there's no point in keeping the ranger of eos around if we don't need it it doesn't do anything for us Looks like we win this turn. We get another land drop, which is very good. We'll just swing in. No point in prolonging the game any longer than it needs to be. Okay, if our opponent's got something here, then now's the time to do it. Alright, Cyclonic Rift makes it unblockable. So all we do then is go for Utter End on the Deep Glow Skate. Uh, yeah, the man is a bit weird here because of how I tapped, but doesn't matter. We'll just get rid of the Deep Glow Skate in response to that. Our, our opponent was going to be able to block Karlov there because getting rid of the um, Whisper, Whisper Silk Cloak keeps it from being unblockable. So they were going to be able to block with the Deep Glow Skate there, but luckily we could do something about that. Yeah, so good game to our opponent. Um... We had to keep a really bad hand there, uh, a four land, uh, a four card hand with only one land in it. But luckily, our opponent had a boatload of colourless lands here. I don't know if this is pretty much all the colourless lands our opponent has, and they were just really unlucky and drew into them. I know I don't like to run too many colourless lands in my decks. Uh, maybe I don't know four tops. But sometimes you just draw into all your colourless lands even though you've got 30 odd uh, coloured lands in the deck. So perhaps unlucky to our opponent. I've played this opponent plenty of times and they're, they're a capable magic player. So I don't think it's uh, a testament to their deck building. It's just unlucky for them. But we managed to cobble together a victory from a four land. I keep saying four land from a four card starting hand. So I think that's pretty good. Karlov of the Ghost Council. Versus a Traxa, pray it is voice. I'm Tribal Kai on the EDH channel. Thank you for watching. Alright, just made a few tweaks to the deck and then jumped on. About 10 minutes after the first game, we get a rematch with Karlov of the Ghost Council versus a Traxa, pray it is voice. We actually have two lands to start with this time and we are on the draw, so our opponent is going to go first and we might draw into that black land that we need. Getting into the Civic Saber again. Really like that for a Traxa. We'll go for the Soul's Attendant that we just drew into. And hopefully we can get Black Mana down next turn. Worst case scenario, we just go for Tablet of the Guilds or Lightning Greaves. I think we already have some life gain on the field. I think I'd like to go for Lightning Greaves in an attempt to get some pressure on our opponent and try and keep up. Hopefully we'll get into that black land sooner rather than later. Might as well put the fear of God in our opponent and swing in for one. Uh, yeah, we're up against a Traxa there. I'll just expand them so you can read them if you want to. You already saw what these cards do at the beginning of the video. And ooh, Selvala comes in already much better on the on the coloured sources than last game. Unlike us, uh, let's go Tablet of the Guilds. Uh, yeah, whenever we cast a spell, if it's at least one of the chosen colours, we gain a life for each of the chosen colours that it is. So we're going to go for Ores of here. That is obviously black and white. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Still got our fingers crossed for some black mana. We were struggling a little bit drawing lands last game as well. I'm not about to up the land count in this deck. I think it's 38 lands we've got. 
And as, as usual, ooh, I just noticed Maze of If, that's not good. And we're seeing a Traxxer come down now as well. Yeah, already much better from, from our opponent. Much better game for them. Read the bones. No, we have means of catching up to our opponent if we get into Black Manor, but... I mean, there's just nothing we can do if we don't draw into lands. We'll just have to throw it back. Really love to anguish on making the Atraxa. Well, we could linger in souls and chump it for a couple of turns. Considering we only care about commander damage, they can gain as much life as they like. But there we go, see the Civic Wayfinder. Uh, not Civic Wayfinder, the um, Civic Sabre. Plus one to Atraxa's power for each of its colours, making it an 8-4. With Flying Death Touch, Lifelink and Vigilance. Oh, and Hammer of Nizan as well. Yeah, so a really good... Um, I need to always yes to this. I've f 6 so it won't let me do that. Yeah, it looks like a really good Voltron build here, so... Not quite at commander damage next turn, unless they give Atraxa another little bit of power. Doesn't seem to be making much use of the Proliferate as well. This might just be... Uh, Sol Ring is better than nothing. We can get down Lingering Souls with that at least. So we gain a life from Tablet of the Guilds because that is a white or black spell. Lingering Souls will let us chump a Traxxer in the air. So we've got our life gain effects down, but not managing to do much else, unfortunately. But I think it's only fair to show you all this because our opponent didn't have the best of luck in the last game. And now it's our turn to not have any luck. And Salvala. That is X mana in any combination of colours where X is the greatest power amongst creatures you control. So she, for green and tap, adds 10 mana. And Blood Spore Thrynax comes down. That's got Devour. I don't think they'll be devouring anything with that. They might devour the Bramble Sovereign. Ah, they could just go for a copy of it and then devour the, the real version, maybe. Yeah, that's exactly what they went for. That does make this somewhat... It's a token, so it doesn't have a converted mana cost. That makes it somewhat... Or I don't think it does. That makes it a little bit more vulnerable, but doesn't really matter against an Orzhov deck. Um, we will just take the four from the Bramble Sovereign and chump with the Spirit. Luckily, he doesn't have Trample yet. <laughs> okay, well, more white mana for us. That is, yeah, currently next to useless. If we get into yet another white source, we can at least austere command. But yeah, this is not our game. We've got another turn, hopefully, unless Atraxa gets Trample or removal for that spirit. Oh, and there we go. Curse of the Swine will get rid of that spirit. And that will give us a bore, which means we can't block the Atraxa. Now it's a case of seeing if they can give Atraxa a buff to its attack. They can't get a token of Sigarda because she's legendary. Been meaning to make a commander deck with Sigarda, host of Herons, actually. She makes for a really good commander. Speaking of Voltron. Coming in with everything here, and... We will just have to block there. And then that's 14 damage being dealt to us. We're just worried about commander damage at this point anyway. And we're desperate for a board wipe at this point. So I don't think we're going to be able to change up the, uh, the outcome of this game. <laughs> yeah, I have literally one or two big spells in this deck and somehow keep drawing into Grizzlebrand, so it's just the way it goes sometimes. We'll give us our opponent the satisfaction of swinging him. Wouldn't normally show a game like this, but we um, we got a good game out of our opponent the first time because we kept a four card hand. And uh, yeah, they very respectfully just swing in at us. We'll go GG our opponent. Yeah, I wouldn't normally upload a game like this because we were mana screwed, but our opponent didn't have the best of luck in the last game. And I think it shows off something 
different with Atraxa. She's always uh, super friends or infect or something like that. But but looking at this, you can actually build a pretty good Voltron deck. And I'm very, I keep waxing lyrical about this card, but I'm very impressed with the inclusion of this. Civic Saber for only two mana. I think that could pretty much be an auto include in Atraxa, especially in one versus one. So good game to our opponent. Hope you all enjoyed it. Karlov of the Ghost Council versus Atraxa, Praetor's Voice. I'm Travel Kai on the EDH channel. Thank you for watching.